Hi everyone, welcome to this practical video on how to calculate IV and option Greeks by using Python Fires API and Black Scholes formula. If you want to access the code used in this video, you just have to go to fessapro.com. Just click on chat with us. It will take you to our WhatsApp chat and you can get the code for free. Now let's try to understand how Black Scholes formula works. Let's say you have a function. The function name is Black Scholes. Now if you want to calculate option price, you need some input. The first input is you need the underlying price. Okay, so if it's bank nifty, what is a bank nifty price? If it is nifty, what is nifty price, underlying price? The second input is you need the strike price. Okay, let's say the bank, uh, let's say nifty price is 25,000. So strike price will be, strike price can be 25,000, 25,100, 25,200, can be anything. The third input is we need the time till expiry. Okay, so let's say the expiry is 3rd of July. And right now we are on uh, 20, uh, 30th of June. So we have like three days till expiry, right? So we need to calculate that duration. How much time do we have till the expiry? So that's the third parameter, which is time till expiry. Then the fourth parameter is the interest rate. Now, if you go to NSE website and if you uh, scroll down on the option chain, if you scroll down, you will see that NSE is using 10% interest rate. So we will also be using the same interest rate. So if you are looking for some other market, you have to figure out what the interest rate is. Then the fifth is we have to figure out if it's a call option or a put option that is option type. And then the last and the most important one, which is quite difficult to calculate is called IV means implied vol volatility. Once you input these six uh, parameters, then you can easily calculate option price. Now, if you read the NSE website again, uh, here they have written that implied vol volatility is displayed for reference purpose only. It is computed at a fixed interval time by using various parameters such as LTP, underlying value and etc. So now here, IV is calculated by using option price and the other parameters that we have. So what we have to do, we have to take the option price which is already available to us in the from the broker API. So we'll use all the other parameters to calculate IV. So I have this complete code ready where I'm taking all the inputs. So I'll just show you the final code. So here I have a function called implied volatility which takes the input like spot price, strike price, time till expiry, interest rate, option price and the option type and it will give me the implied volatility. Now once you have the IV, then you can easily calculate option Greeks. Greeks like delta, theta, gamma, vega, all of them you can calculate just by calling a simple function which is inside a Mebian library called BS, means Black-Scholes. So this is how uh, we calculate option Greeks and IV. Let's try to understand the code now. So here, uh, initially you have to install all the libraries. So I need three libraries to execute this code. First is Fires API version three. Second is Pendulum. So Fires API I'm using to get the data. Pendulum library for the time zone and Mebian library to calculate option Greek. So first you have to specify all the credential. So if you have your own Fires account, you can just update the credential. After updating the credential, you need to get the access token. So I have already pasted my access token. Then these are the all imports that we need. So first I'm importing the Fires model, I'm importing the Pandas library, Pendulum library, Math library, and this normal distribution from SciPy library in order to calculate a uh, Black Scholes. Now the first step will be to get the spot price. So I'm using the code function to get the spot price. So right now the instrument or the index name is Nifty 50. So if you want to do this for Bank Nifty, you just have to change the single variable and you also have to change the strike difference. So right now, the underlying is nifty 50 and the strike difference is 50. What is the strike difference? If you look at the option chain, you can see the difference is 50 rupee. So this difference also you have to specify. Then I want to calculate for a uh, call option and I'm creating the contract name, which is NSE colon uh, nifty 50 dash index. This is how we specify the contract name in five years. Then I call the code function, which gives me the spot price. Okay. So let me just execute the code and show you if I run this, this is going to give me uh, the spot price of nifty 50 which is 25480 now the first step is the spot price the second step is to get the expiry to get the expiry i'm calling the option chain function in option chain function we can get list of all the expiries that are available for the bank nifty or nifty so we are getting the first expiry or the near or the nearest expiry which is uh, uh 25573 which is next month uh, that is july of third and you can see the time, the option will be expiring at 15.30, which is 3.30 p.m. So this is the second thing. First was the spot price, second was the expiry. The third step is getting the option name and the strike price. To get the option name and the strike price, we will convert our 
uh, option chain into a data frame. So you can see this is how the option chain will look like. We have all the option contracts. Okay. Now from this, I want the ATM call option. So I've created the simple function, which is get OTM option. If you specify the points as zero, it will give you ATM option. So if I run this code, you can see I've got the ATM call option and the strike press. So ATM call option is uh, 25,500. That's the ATM. So if I just refresh this page and if I scroll down, you will see that this is my current ATM strike price. This is my ATM strike price. Now, after getting the call name, uh, the option name and the strike price, the next is interest rate. Now, if you go to NSE website and if you scroll down, the first sentence they have written in the note is 10% interest rate is applied when computing implied volatility. So we'll do the same. So I have kept my interest rate as 0 0.10, which is 10% and option type is call. Now the next step will be to calculate time till expiry. So right now the current date is 30th of June. My expiry is on 3rd of July. So how much seconds or how much time we have between them is what we have to calculate. So this is how you calculate it. So I just subtract the expiry minus the current date and I'm getting the seconds out of it. So this is the value, which is the time between the expiry and the current time. The next step will be to get the option price. So we can again use the code function and get the option price. So for this option contract, which is 25,500, the current price is 130.8. Now, once you have all the data ready, this is the actual code for black Scholes. So I have this black Scholes uh, formula, black Scholes uh, function. And then I have a function called implied volatility, which will calculate implied volatility for me. And at the end, I have this helper function, which is uh, bisection IV. Now, once we have everything together, we just have to call the implied volatility function. You have to first specify the spot price, the strike. Then now this function requires annualized time to expiry. So I have to divide it with 365. Okay. So I've divided time to expiry with 365. Then I have interest rate. I have the option price, then the option type that is if it's call or put. And accordingly, if I run the code, it will give me the current IV, which is 0 0.14. So let's check if this IV is correct. So what is my option contract? Option contract is uh, 25,500. Okay. So let me just refresh the page first. If I refresh this, let's go to 25,500 and the current is 13.95. I'll just run the entire code again. 13.95. So here we are getting I scroll by, I'm getting 13.92, which is almost same. Okay. So this is how you use this implied volatility function to calculate implied volatility by using this as the input. Now, once you have the IV ready with you, then you can just call the median dot black Scholes formula. Uh, this will give you all the option Greek data, like the date, Delta, Theta, Vega, Gamma, everything you will get. So now if I run this code, you will see this is the option. This is the underlying name. This is the spot price. This is the strike name. This is the strike price and this is the expiry. And these are all the values that we need. So first is IV, which is 0 0.139. Then we have Delta, then we have Theta. Okay. Now let's say you want to do the same for put option. So what all changes you have to do? Uh, let me just comment this line first. So you'll go to the top. Uh, let's do it for bank nifty. Now I want for put option. So I'll write P. So this code, now if I click on run all, it will first shortlist the uh, add the money put and then it will calculate implied volatility impl IV and the option Greeks for that particular option. So let's click on run all. Now, if you check the current ATM option is this, let me just refresh the page. So this is nifty expiry is three July. And this is my current, this is my ATM put option. So price is 134. So if I scroll down, the price is uh, 132 now. And the strike is 25,500. So here we have 25,500. And if you look at IV, IV is 14.6, 14.96. So even here we are getting 14.6. Okay, slight variation you will see. Now let's say you want to do this for bank nifty. So what all changes you have to do? First is you have to change this N. Instead of nifty, I'll write here bank nifty now instead of strike difference as 50 you have to write 100 why because in bank nifty the strike difference is 100 so you have to change this and let's get the call option so i'll write c and then i'll click on run all let's change the instrument name here so we will change this to bank nifty now bank nifty expiry is what 31st of july so if you look at my code uh the expiry okay let's click on run all again 
it is throwing an error it is saying expiry date okay i made a mistake i have to write nifty bank b a n k let's click on run all hmm. so now we are getting the expiry as uh, 31st of july now let me refresh this now if i go to the atm call option which is 57300 let's scroll down so here we have 57300 as the atm option uh, strike price is 998 we can check the price is around 992 or 993 that's fine and the iv that we are getting is 0 0.11 so you can see here we have 11.41 here we have 11.2 like 0 0.11.2 so if you multiply it with 100 we'll get the same value as we have here so this is how you use the fires api to calculate implied volatility and option greets